We, we talked about the fog of law, and to our viewers at home, be patient with us as we work through this. Megan, you're seeing something Wait, now. Wait, we're getting conflicting information. That? We're getting conflicting information. Uh, if you follow scotusblog.com, which is the, covers the high court, correct? They say that despite what Shannon just read, that the, the individual mandate is surviving as a tax. This is not confirmed by us yet. This is according to SCOTUS blog, which also has the opinion. They had challenged this, this individual mandate, and the government defended it on a couple of grounds. Number one, they said they could do it under the Commerce Clause because they had the power to regulate commerce under Article I of the Constitution. Number two, they said we can, we can do this to individuals, force them to, to buy insurance or pay a penalty because we have the ability to tax people. And according to SCOTUS blog, I haven't seen the opinion, they're reporting that the individual mandate survives as a tax. Uh, so it may have been struck down under the Commerce Clause power, but, but spared under the taxing power. Everyone's still trying to figure this out. It's very fluid right now. Understood. Understood. And also, Judge, was the word tax used in the 2400 page law? No, it specifically was not used because one of the issues was is this a tax, in which case the, the Constitution requires that it be applied equally, or is it a fine, in which case people are being punished for not engaging in certain behavior and they can challenge the law? Let fine. me stop you right there because this is complicated and you follow the blog and we're still trying to figure this out. Be cautious with us. We are trying to do the best we can right now as we sort through it. And we need it to update take, our lower third, right, which it, may not be correct right now. It may take several minutes for, or even beyond that to understand all this.